grief. Last uh, video I talked about, you know, everything being a trigger and <clears throat> one of the coping mechanisms that I'm using is just kind of being distracted with helping other people and I'm doing it consciously and taking time for grief. So I, I do think it's, it's healthy. It's a distraction. Um, and I'm trying to take care of myself and, um, you know, I've been a special needs mom for 15 years and, um, I really haven't done much for myself. You know, I, I gave up a lot of things that I loved doing as a single woman, you know, when I got married and, and so I came on a scuba diving trip this weekend, uh, to the Florida Keys which is actually just about 40 minutes from where I raised my kids. So <laughs> immediately upon um, getting ready to fly here, I um, I just really started to get uh, depressed. And, and the depression is, it's grief. Um, but it's just... it's really hard to make things matter. It, it's really hard to, you know, enjoy myself. And so, um, I flew, I flew, I took an overnight flight and flew in. So I was extremely exhausted and then went on a scuba diving trip that was not refreshing. <laughs> That's a whole nother story. But, um, and so the first day it was just pure exhaustion and then yesterday I woke up and had a, a good day. I, 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 I spent all day with my girlfriends and um, we did things in the sun, uh, in the water, here in the Florida Keys. And, um, and it was a good day. And I went to bed last night again tired and... And then just sporadically woke up at 5 a.m. Depressed. Like, none of this means anything. <sighs> it's like... I, ha I have to... Except that this is the life that I have been given. That I have lost both of my biological children. And. And it just hurts. And you know I try to reframe it like. You know it is just grief. And I need and, and stop letting it spill into every area. I mean, at my age, 50, you know, I would be empty, empty nesting anyway. Like I would be without my children anyway, but you know, I would f feel proud about what they were doing or her. And I just, I mean, that's the whole thing when, when it's more than grief, when it spills into other areas, it's really about me. It's like, I'm, I'm a failure. I wasn't, I wasn't good enough to do the most important job in the world of raising children. And so it, it pushes all of these internal buttons that spill into other areas of my life. It's like, well, if I wasn't good enough for, for the most important job, why do anything? Uh, and I'm a, <laughs> I've been working on myself for a long time. I felt like I was a pretty secure, confident person. Okay. 
And so I, I will figure out and I will reframe it and I will, I am a confident person. This just doesn't make sense. It's not fair. So, here I am on vacation, a little mini weekend vacation, sitting in the car crying. But I will get it together and spend some time with my friends and get back to work on Monday. <sighs>